Well, for people waiting to get a vaccine, staying physically active may be the next best thing. That is the finding of a new study from UC San Diego and Kaiser Permanente. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron spoke to researchers about what this means for the future of the pandemic. It really goes back to the beginning of the pandemic. A year ago, UC San Diego professor Dr. James Salas had a hunch that exercise, which helps the immune system fight off inflammation, would offer the same protection against COVID-19. Well, I tried to get the word out, hey, we need to be encouraging people to be physically active for these reasons. Um, and nobody paid any attention. I can tell you that. To prove his theory, Dr. Salas turned to his friend, Dr. Robert Salas with Kaiser Permanente. The two aren't related, even though they share a last name, but they also share a passion for finding links between exercise and health. And we cannot optimize health just with medications. Pills and procedures just don't work to keep people healthy and living a long life. They have got to, they have got to put some skin in the game. Kaiser was in a good position to study this idea because they already track patients' physical activity just like a vital sign. They had 48,400 COVID positive patients with more than two years of consistent data on how often they work out and for how long. For the study, they grouped people into three sets. People who exercise less than 10 minutes a week, people who exercise between 11 and 149 minutes per week, and people who exercise 150 minutes or more each week. And what we found, not surprisingly, that there was a significant effect uh, of being sedentary. According to the study, that first group called inactive patients were two and a quarter times more likely to be hospitalized, 1.7 times more likely to need ICU care, and two and a half times more likely to die of COVID than people in the most active group. Even people in the middle group had less severe COVID cases than the inactive patients. Short of the vaccine, this is the single best thing you can do to reduce your risk for severe COVID. The study also found that physical inactivity, quote, was a stronger risk factor for severe COVID-19 outcomes than any underlying medical conditions, except for age and a history of organ transplant, which makes Kaiser's Dr. Salas wonder why the CDC never listed it as a major risk. And while health officials argued the move was necessary, he also wonders if the decision to close gyms, parks, and trails for safety reasons was a bad trade-off. I hope this study will change some minds and open up some thinking in our public health officials on what, what is important and what should we be key, trying to keep open and available. For Dr. Salas from UC San Diego, it's proof that people can do more to prevent a severe COVID infection than just wear a mask. Being active, going out for a walk every day is something you can do to take control um, over, over this virus to some extent. Both doctors now hope people will exercise more, not just to fight COVID, but to stay as healthy as possible. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Yeah, both doctors say that they believe regular exercise will also help the vaccine create a higher immune response. And we put a link to the full study in the British Journal of Medicine on our website, 10news.com.